So you've done the self-help and you've dipped into some personal development, but now you ask the question, now what? What can you do? Well, if you want to escape the apathy, step right this way. So twice a year, I teach a course called Autonomy. It's a 12-week personal development and training course. What people get out of it is multifaceted. Uh, there's curriculum, there's exercises, there's camaraderie. You make new friends. There's a whole lot of interesting things. We're going to hear a sample from the course right now, and it's let's take a look at the value these students are getting. All right, now I'm going to try something here on Zoom. Do you guys ever see me share my screen before? No, right? It's not something I do. <laughs> and I have to click this thing. It says share sound. All right. Now I think if I click those buttons, are you guys able to see and hear that? We got it. All right. Let's see. Taking a group photo before we uh, embark on this piece. Hi. 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 H
this exercise starts out, I had them doing some standard stuff, and then we turned it into giving them feedback on their stage presence and their presentation skills. And so it went on for about an hour. I think we should probably post it in the forum. It was a lot of fun. And uh, in the middle, you've got, uh, what well, I just changed it. In the middle is Bryant. This is Sharice. This is Mike Delaney. And then Jesse was also there, but he's also smoking food at his brisket station over there. So I'm going to end up posting that because it's, it's a longer piece, but it, it was a good opportunity for people to practice. You know, if you're speaking, that's one thing. If you're not speaking, maybe you're listening. You have to pay attention to your decorum and how you're presenting yourself on stage. Maybe you're thinking of a, a retort or a segue into something else, or maybe you get caught flat footed and that's a good lesson too. So that was a fun little workout. And then what else we have here? We had some live entertainment. Here's live entertainment. Every day, every day, every day. Now that that's a song that Lucas had written. So I was like, Hey, there's a microphone right there. Why don't you get up there and sing your song? Cause last week it was about, uh, or the, the pork fest week. It's usually about like breaking through your introversion, right? Let's, let's take the introverts. Let's extrovert a little bit. And then I uh, also applied that, uh, lesson to myself. This is our friend, Brendan. Brendan showed up. He said, uh, on the first day that we got there, he said, Hey, what can I help you do to set up? I said, I'm too busy. I can't even tell you what to do right now. The last day when we're starting to break everything down and it's raining, he shows up and says, hey, what can I help you? And I said, yeah, I know exactly what you can help with. Thank you for being here. So we got a little bit of sunlight on like Tuesday afternoon and we sat down and we started having a jam session because we had this PA system sitting around. And this is the part where uh, I took a break to just film what was going on. And free my soul. I want to get lost in the rock and roll and drift away. on the microphone was that your idea rich yeah dude yeah because it was it was really windy out so we both put i was like let's put cups on these microphones so we don't blow out the well, there's still a little audience at the pork fest grounds you know so we're sitting there jamming i don't know we played uh we played for a couple hours and uh yeah the microphones were were helped by those coffee cups you can't you it's not just a microphone stand you can use them as a wind blocker as well and then uh brendan came over saturday after we got back we were unpacking stuff and so this is over here on the left uh, of the screen. This is Chris. This is my neighbor, whom I did not know had these talents. But we got together and had a jam session, and Chris stole the show. He didn't know any of the songs on the set list. And I was like, well, I guess you're not in a band, bro. And then he came over, and he just starts noodling, and he could play with anything we played throughout the whole night. So that was uh, that was really cool. Unfortunately, there's no audio of that. Sorry about that. I don't know how that worked. No audio. How do I stop? Uh, share. And uh, that's the end of show and tell. Everyone's doing some kind of self-help these days, and you can find a million self-help courses out there. Most other courses out there are hosting lectures. They're hosting videos. They're maybe even doing Q&As. And these are great starting points to encourage learning. But at Autonomy, we believe that hands-on practice is the best way to really lock in what we're learning. There's no better way to gain confidence and mastery than through action. After each lecture, we practice the concepts we've learned with other students, giving and receiving feedback in a non-judgmental environment. The result is mastery of concepts like entrepreneurship, ethical sales, and self-reliance in an environment that directly translates to the real world. Plus, you make connections with other like-minded individuals who are learning right alongside you and you have a lifetime membership in the community. 
The autonomy course with Richard Grove equips you with confidence, competence, and courage in a world filled with confusion and noise. You can learn more at getautonomy.info. We'll see you there.